So well, guys, we are back with the third video where we're going to learn about dissociation equations. So dissociation reaction, sometimes also known as decomposition reaction, is a reaction where big molecules are separated to smaller molecules. A few common dissociation reactions are shown below. So we have N2O2 dissociate to become NO2, hydrogen iodide dissociate to become hydrogen plus iodine, ammonia dissociate to become hydrogen plus nitrogen, PCL5 is dissociate to become PCL3 plus Cl2 and N2O5 is dissociate to become 4NO2 plus O2. So note that all the reactions are reversible, hence may not achieve complete dissociation. So in other words, reaction does not 100% form the products. So the amount of product formed from the reactant can be described by using percentage of dissociation or in the form of degree of dissociation, namely alpha. When the dissociation is 100%, the reaction is to stay one way. For example, A dissociate to become B. So initially, if you have 100, at the end of the reactions, you have 100. So you have no more A at the uh, reactants here. However, if the reaction, if a reversible reaction occur, depending on the degree of dissociation, the amount of the reactant and products remain at the end of the day. So let's say if you initially you have 100 G and no H in the beginning, so given to you, alpha, which is the degree of dissociation, is 0 0.20. So in here, out of 100, it is 100 minus 0 0.20. So amount of H form is also plus 100 times 0 0.20. So therefore, at equilibrium, you have 80G and 20H. So note that when, 20 when, zero, when the degree of dissociation is 0.20, it indicates 20% of the reactants were dissociated. If alpha is 0.25, then the percentage of dissociation is 2.5%. The following examples shows the method of how usually Kc is calculated when a single, uh, when a system with a single reactant is dissociated into component until achieved equilibrium. So the first example is the dissociation of phosphorus metal chloride. Given to you, PCl5 dissociate to become PCl3 plus Cl2. So because a concentration, uh, no matter how much mole that you use, at the end of the day, can Kc is going to be the same. So if there is no mole given to you, advisably we shall use one mole. So initially we have one mole of PCl5 dissociate uh, and no mole of PCl3 and Cl2. After a certain degree of dissociation alpha, so since the amount of PCl5 dissociated is alpha, so since reactant will decrease with time, therefore we have a minus alpha. And then the amount of PCL3 and Cl2 form. Therefore, how much PCL5 dissociated, that is how much PCL3 and Cl2 is formed. Therefore, plus alpha and plus alpha. So at equilibrium, we have 1 minus alpha, alpha and alpha. Now, if you were to calculate Kc of a reaction, things are quite simple. Simply, just express Kc. The Kc is Cl2 times PCL3 over PCL5. So alpha over a volume, because now we are still in mole times alpha over volume over 1 minus alpha over volume. So this is how simple it is if we are to express Kc. However, if we are to express Kp, things are going to be a little bit complicated. First, calculate the mole fraction. So to calculate the mole fraction, you need the total mole. So 1 minus alpha plus alpha plus alpha. We have 1 plus alpha at the end of the day. So mole fraction of PCL5 is 1 minus alpha over 1 plus alpha. Mole fraction of PCL3 is alpha over 1 plus alpha. Mole, mole fraction of PCL2 is also alpha over 1 plus alpha. Then, we can find partial pressure of each of them. So partial pressure PCL5 is 1 minus alpha times 1 alpha over P total. PCL3 is alpha times 1 minus plus alpha P total. And Cl2 also the same. So therefore, substitute the partial pressure in group, uh, into the Kb. So Kb is PCL3 times Cl, PCL2 over PCL5. So you substitute uh, every of the values in here. So this is how one of the examples if you uh, substitute it for PCL5. Another example is the dis uh, dissociation of dinitrogen tetraoxide into nitrogen dioxide gas. So N2O4 will dissociate to form 2NO2. Now note that in here, stoichiometry is slightly a little bit different because now we have two, uh, one. In here we have one mole of the one mole of the N2O4 from two mole of NO2. So initially, if we have one mole of N2O4 and no mole of O2, so given to you, degree of dissociation is alpha. Now note that because one N2O4 will dissociate to become two NO2, so therefore if X uh, if alpha amount of N2O4 dissociated, so two alpha will be formed. 
vacuum since vacuum actually is 1 to 2 so therefore at equilibrium we have 1 minus alpha and 2 alpha in here if you were to use to calculate Kc so simply 2 alpha over the volume square over 1 minus alpha over the volume however if it is including Kp first calculate the total mole so 1 minus alpha plus 2 alpha so you have 1 plus alpha then you substitute each of them respectively so 1 minus alpha over 1 plus alpha 2 alpha over 1 plus alpha then you find the partial pressure of each N2O4 and also NO2 so partial pressure of N2O4 is 1 minus alpha plus over 1 plus alpha times P total partial pressure of NO2 is 2 alpha over 1 plus alpha partial pressure of P total so the substitute of all partial pressures into Kp Kp is PNO2, uh, PNO2 square over PN2O4 so this is how we calculated the partial pressure for each of them so let's have a look at a few examples that um, we are I'm going to show you in here so example 1 at the temperature of 398 degrees Celsius hydrogen iodide has a degree of dissociation of uh, 0.25 so I'll calculate the Kc of the above reactions. So we have two Hi to dissociate to become H2 plus I2. So initially it was one of Hi uh, and H2 plus I2. So when, when we say that degree of dissociation is 0 0.25, so you have minus 0 0.25 here plus 0 0.25 divided by 2 here plus 0 0.25 divided by 2 so at the end of the day we have 1 minus 0 0.25 we get 0 0.75 0 plus 0 0.25 over 2 so we get 0 0.125 0 plus 0, point, uh, 0 0.25 over 2 we get 0 0.125 so in here you can see that stoichiometry is 2 to 1 to 1 so that is why in here we divided by 2 because it is 1 over 2 after we get that, we just have to substitute it into the Kc the Kc is H2 times I2 over Hi squared so 0 0.125 over volume 0 0.125 over volume and 0 0.75 over volume squared now in this case, we don't really have to worry about the volume because at the end of the day volume times volume over volume squared all of them will be cancelled eventually and press your calculator to get the Kc is equal to 0 0.028 so this is the first example that I'm going to show you. Second example, at 300 Kelvin and 0, 1.0 atmosphere, dinitrogen tetraoxide N2O4 is 20% dissociated. A. Calculate the equilibrium constant of a pressure for the reactions. So how do you calculate equilibrium constant? So use the same methods. First, write the dissociation equation. N2O4 give 2 N2. So initially, if you have one mole of N2O4, give 2 mole of NO2. So, and when 20% is dissociated, so z minus 0 0.20. But here, because stoichiometrically 1 to 2, so you have plus 2 times 0 0.20. So at the end of equilibrium, you have 0 0.8 and 0 0.4. So this will make your total mole to become 1.2 mole. Then you have to find out what is your uh, partial pressure of N2O4. So partial pressure of N2O4 is 0 0.8 over total mole, 1.2 and total pressure 1 atmosphere whereas NO2 is 0 0.4 times 1 over 2 times 1 atmosphere so you get 1 over 3 atmosphere substitute inside your Kp the Kp is equal to the partial pressure of NO2 square over partial pressure of N2O4 so you have partial pressure of 1 over T square over 2 over 3 so you get 0 0.17 atmosphere so this is how we calculate Kp for the case A now B, calculate the degree of dissociation when the total pressure is 0 0.20 so now we have a different uh, total pressure however, we, have, we can make use of the Kp calculated earlier to substitute into here so given to you, initial is 1.0 and 0 because we don't know what is our degree of dissociation so we leave it as minus A and plus 2A so at equilibrium, we have 1 minus A plus 2A so total ball is 1 uh, plus A so partial pressure of the partial pressure of N2O4 is 1 minus alpha plus 1 plus alpha times total pressure 0 0.20 atmosphere whereas NO2 is 2 alpha times 1 plus alpha multiplied by 0 0.20 atmosphere. So substitute into your KP in here just now. 
So zero uh, partial pressure uh, Kb is equals to partial pressure of NO2 square over N2O4 equals to 0 0.167 atmosphere. So we substitute each of them accordingly. Okay, so I'll substitute in here square, I'll substitute in here, eventually cancel, cancel, cancel. You get your alpha is 0 0.416 in here. So this is how we are going to do for this kind of questions. Finally, we have calculated the pressure that must be applied so that the degree of dissociation is lower to 15%. So, still use the same method. So, N2O4 gives to NO2. Initial is still 1 mole. However, our degree of dissociation now is minus 0 0.15. Here is plus 2, point, uh, 2 times 0 0.15. So, at equilibrium, we have 0 0.85 times 0 0.30. So, total mole is 1.15. So partial pressure of N2O4 is 0 0.85 times P total 1.15 times total pressure because we don't know what is our total pressure. And then partial pressure of NO2 is 0 0.30 divided by 1.15 times P total. So substitute into our equation where P NO2 square over N2O4 we substitute everything here accordingly. Okay? And at the end of the day you get your P will be equal to 1.8 atmosphere. So later, good luck in trying for retrying on all these questions that I've said to you earlier. So with this, I end for my third video lessons. So hope that you enjoy. See you all later. Thank you.